Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, we gave them the countdown. They are going. First one to start is going to be Disaster Caddy. Let's get a little volume on, on uh, his side. And then Ragcore is going to be next. There's going to be a slight delay in when they start their timers, but it's only going to be by a couple seconds. Um, that's mainly because of, you know, stream and whatever goes on. But it looks like both runners are nailing 1-1, and we have seen other runners have a worse time in 1-1 at the start of the race. So, uh, and, and I don't know these runners uh, super well, um, especially in terms of their consistency. So it's going to be very exciting to see... Uh, both these runners to come out and try and take the win. Not getting early P-Speed from Disaster, but neither Raycor is Rager. Ooh, not even going to get it at all. Disaster Caddy's going to get the tail. Raycor's going to get the Mushroom go over the slide strats. And he has actually taken the lead in time a little bit, but Disaster Caddy, sorry, Caddy, will be able to do the fly strat in the fortress. So, uh, yeah, this could be, uh, there, there could be another little time swing. But as we've seen before, most of the things that happen in World 1 don't really matter all that much in terms of, like, speed, um, first and second place. And this is where Disaster Caddy's gonna take a little bit of the lead. Raycord not getting the boost speed. Ooh, he, he did not wait for the drive ones. There we go. Now he's gonna be able to get up. Okay, cool. All right, here comes the first point. It's going to be the MFP Tunnel. Disaster Caddy's going to be going first. Keeps P-Speed. Ooh, missed that jump. Not going to be able to get the tunnel anymore. Oh, maybe. Oh, but I don't think so. A little too difficult. This is a good opportunity for Ragcor to secure a point here. Oh, I jumped a little too high there. Jumped a little too high. Even if Ragcor got the duck jump, wouldn't have been able to... Uh, to get the uh, the tunnel there. So unfortunately, neither runner is going to be able to get that. Disaster Caddy gets a little bit better RNG here. Uh, having to fight the Hammer Brother above 1 6, and same with Ragcore. <clears throat> Disaster Caddy suffering from uh, slight old school strats for the lining up with the, uh, the early P speed. There's something about the block that just helps line it up. And both runners very close to each other, having a little bit of trouble on this level, but they nail it. Uh, it's not uncommon for P-Speed to affect people. Uh, that's very, very normal. Um, it used to be like a thing that always happened, right? Am I going to get 1-6? Resetting at 1-6 used to be like a really big thing. And Ragcor getting the leap in the inventory, meaning he's going to have that point in his pocket. He's just got to remember to use it. Easy. Easy for both runners. Disaster Caddy getting the throne jump. Raycorn not getting the throne jump. So we're going to have to keep an eye on... Uh, where are we? One throne jump right there. All right, moving on to World 2. We are on the airship. Both runners are very close to each other. No runner has any points over the other except Raycorn with that, with that leaf in the inventory. That's a good one. Hope you guys are all having a good time. You guys are relaxing, enjoying a little little SMB3 race. I'm glad I don't have to race. Racing is stressful. Alright? And that's why every runner in this tournament has done an amazing job. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Ooh, baby, get the stomp kill. Nice. Both runners go for the stomp kill. Like I've said before, if you're not comfortable with fire killing, do not go for the fire kill. Alright, going on to World 2. Okay, so World 2, we're looking for no moat of tears, red rocket, and both boomerang bros moving backwards. If you only fight one... You are not eligible for that point, so you have to make sure you fight both of them. They also have to not lose their Fire Flower in World 2. A lot of World 2 action in Season 3, I find, a little bit more than Season 2. Uh, one of the points in Season 2 is getting all movements of 2, I think it was, anyways. So 
so that's a little tough. All right, Sasser Caddy getting early piece speed. Same with Raycor. Very nice, getting the mushroom. That seems like a... Uh... Oh, both runners getting the mushroom. All right, well then, that's pretty easy there. In the movement of two running away, and here we go, the spade strats. This seems to be what a lot of runners are doing. They flip over two cards. It gives them an idea of what the card is next. Ragcore, if he goes a little bit faster, might be able to catch up some time. And, uh, wow, Disaster Caddy is right out of there. Ragcore is going to get some inventory stuff, so... Also gets the 10. Alright, Disaster Caddy needs to make sure not to fall in the mode of tears. Raycord losing a little bit of time here having to do the full clear, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. I think it's going to be worth it in the long run, as long as no moat here. Oh, the fireball! The fireball is allowed to fall in the moat, but not your body. Not your body. Ooh, almost gets early PCP. Does get early PCP. Very nice. Wasn't expecting it, though. As you can tell with the double turn back there when you're not expecting it. Oh, it happens. Always when you least expect it. Let's see how Rancor does with the early P-Speed. Not quite gonna get it. One arrow away, but... Not too bad, not too bad. It is a little bit of a time loss, early P-Speed versus not in the first room in the fortress. Uh... But it's not gonna be much of a big deal. All right, here we go. We're going to get first. Yes, first boomerang, bro. Doesn't move backwards. Does not move backwards. Damn, oh damn. So, Disaster Caddy is suffering slightly from some RNG points. We're going to have to come and clutch with some of the more skillful points. Some of the points you can physically acquire. Like Red Rocket. Oh, and not getting P-Speed. Oh, not going to be able to get it back. Where Raycor is going to be able to get the P-Speed there with the, uh, with the Red Rocket. That's one thing I've noticed with learning, um, the Red Rocket strat. I have given it some time, and it does seem like, um, the hardest part is actually grabbing the shell, but, like, keeping P-Speed after. So if you don't keep P-Speed, you're not gonna be able to get all the way to the end there with the Red Shell. Whew, okay, right on. So, Raycor going to get the Red Rocket strat. Already has two points in the bag here. Hasn't fought... First Hammer Brother yet either, so we don't know if they're gonna get moving forward or moving backwards. Oh, and Disaster! Wow, double damage! Why the double damage? Maybe tried to jump but missed the input, not sure. Ooh, the sun, gotta watch out. Seems pretty safe though, Raikor not taking damage. Going to be able to catch up a little bit. Go for the Mushroom card, right on. Disaster Caddy having some unfortunate World 2 here. See if this Boomerang Bro does, in fact, move backwards, which is very unfortunate. He needed that first one to move backwards. I want to see Disaster Caddy go down to 2-5 here. It's just a little bit safer. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit safer. It's really not going to cost you all that much time. Is he going to get the Bonk here? Going to get the Bonk. Wait for the Mushroom. He can kind of run under, but... Ooh, doesn't want to take damage there. That's right. Very nice. I was not expecting that. Sick. Something different, right? Grab the mushroom, do the do the break, so you don't have to wait. I've definitely seen people wait there before. Nice, Raycor is annihilating it right now. Ooh, doesn't get the jump, but the, the beetle has spawned, so he's gonna have to wait. Has definitely made that mistake before. He knew that that was gonna happen. That's practice for you. That's what happens when you practice. Very nice disaster. Sasso Caddy killing it right now, going through, doing the pyramid a little bit faster than Raikor here. A little bit cleaner, a little bit faster, so it's gonna be harder for Raikor to catch up. Raikor should go up, yes, makes the right decision, gonna go up. Boomerang Bro is gonna move backwards, so they both get one backwards so far. Ooh, and Disaster Caddy not getting thrown jump. Raycor needs to get backwards bro here, and he does not get backwards bro, so just like that, Raycor is not going to gain the, any any higher lead with the uh, RNG points in World 2. Neither runner falling in the moat, but unfortunately, Caddy did not get the red rocket, so they're not going to be able to get the and took damage. As long as Raycor can make it all the way through World 3 without taking damage, should be in the clear. 
Five to six right now. Very nice. How, how's Twitch chat doing? How's my chat doing? Raycord did get thrown jump, but didn't get thrown jump in World 1, so it's not gonna help. What is in those crates? Alright, here we go. Not gonna go for the fire kill, not a bad idea. Again, if you're if you're out of your comfort zone, don't go for those fire kills. Especially, I mean, if you're out of your comfort zone, you go for the fire kill, you're probably losing more time with a sloppy fire kill anyways. You might as well just stomp them. You don't really lose much time with a stomp. Raycor also gonna go for the stomp. Be patient, wait, wait it out. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea at all. So let, let's see what kind of time we're dealing with here. Uh, Disaster Caddy has Peach's letter at around 11, 19 or so. Okay, so let's see, 11, 19. All right, Disaster Caddy needs to get the frame jump. Does not get the frame jump. Nice try though, nice try. Uh, that's one of those things where he knows now if his opponent gets it, he does lose a point and that's the way the shared points work. So he's really hoping that Rancor doesn't get the jump. 11.36, uh, maybe close to 20 seconds behind, a little under. Oh, with the swim up, Raycor also not getting the frame jump in 3-1. Having a little slip up at the end there for Disaster Caddy. So Raycor should be able to catch up a little bit of time. Let's take a look, screen transition on 11.58, and let's see where Raycor is. Ooh, Disaster Caddy lining up for Runaway Bro. That's what we want to see, we want to get some bad RNG here. Ooh, <laughs> Raycor also messing up Slightly at the end with the pipe, so not gonna be able to get that time swing. Couple seconds here. Needed it. Needed it. Needed some time there. Raycor not lined up for Runaway Bros. So this is a good opportunity for uh, kind of get a point. Raycor is gonna go for early P speed. Doesn't quite get the uh, elevator jump there. Um, let's see if he knows how to do this level with waiting at the start. And Disaster Caddy gets the Runaway Bro. Very nice to see. You get unlucky, you get rewarded, right? Hey, man, it's not your your fault. You got unlucky. Why should you have to suffer? So, in this season, you don't suffer. You benefit from the unluckiness. Oh, and just like that, Raycor wants to avoid coin ship. Not quite at the coin ship um, spot here. It is going to get coins in 3-3, so... Didn't have to worry too much, but hey, it's good. It's really good. 69 coins, nice. Oh, Hammer Brother comes back. That is like the most perfect scenario in this. That is great for Disaster Caddy. Gonna go for door four, gonna go for door four. Does not get the door four. Needs as many points as he can get. Probably feels like he's behind by a little bit, taking damage, not getting RNG points. But I don't know how much these, how much these runners know about the other runners, so we're not gonna be able to see any gameplay differences from that. Raycor is gonna go for door four as well. If Raycor doesn't go for door four though, big time gain. Goes for it. Oh, and doesn't get it. Oh, very difficult. Oh, whoa. He's gonna use Music Box. Okay, okay. Task World 3 was definitely on the rise there. Ooh, not getting P speed and taking damage. Gonna go for Slide Strats to get over the little, little puddle there. It's not really much of a puddle, but you know, it's a puddle. Ooh, not missing the job. Nice, okay. Gets the, gets the Fire Flower back. That's a great splot. Great spot. That's a great spot to get a, your backup fire flower. That's a great spot. Both hammer brothers asleep. I'm gonna use the music box. Sorry, the cloud. Get way past it. Raycor doing great work with 3 4 here. Not having to re grab fire flower. Raycor is so close to an extra point for not losing fire flower. So close. Right there. What, what are we going to see? Music box here? No! Doesn't even need a music box. That is going to be insanely good. Does not have to use a P-Wing now on 
Wow, Boxless World 3. I don't know what's harder, Boxless World 3 or Boxless World... You know what, Boxless World 4 is impossible. We're gonna go with Boxless World 4 being the hardest. Nice, get your H's ready on your keyboard, guys. Dang, gets the H, very nice! That is, uh, if you miss that H, that is just a big time loss. You're creating lag, you gotta grab blocks, you're all over the place, you're nervous, you're scared. Right, you're upset, you miss the H, you know you're, you know you're losing time, so then you lose more time, it's just a big nightmare. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna see any runner missing the H jump? Nice, dude, both runners get it. Alright, Disaster Caddy presses A on the castle at 3, uh, 15, 35, let's just say. Oh, watch out, Rancor! Still has the Fire Flower. Ooh, it's not gonna be able to catch up on any time in World 3 on Rancor's side. Was trying really hard to, uh, to benefit from some time saves. Not gonna be able to get any, though. Still behind by pretty close to say, yeah, pretty close to the same amount. No, no huge time differences here. Getting stuck in the screw, I'd love to see it. Whew, all right, World 3 airship. Not a whole lot going on. Typical airship garbage. We all wish we could fast forward it. Ooh, that's the caddy. And follow down there. You don't want to fall down there. Nice, go for the fire kill. Misses one shot. Nice, very nice. The weird thing about Wendy is like the hitboxes for the fireballs favor the left side of her body. I don't know why. It just seems like... I feel like the way she's arched, right? The way her, her character looks, like her head and stuff is more on the left side of her body. But like, doesn't that apply for all the bosses? Maybe all the bosses favor left side. Rancor needs to not lose Fire Flower here. Nice. Very nice. So Rancor is going to get the no loss Fire Flower for Worlds 2 and 3 right there. Neither runner got door four. One runner got runaway, bro. So they each got a point in world three. That's very good. Now they're going to have to go bottom route, P-speed in 4-1. Changing it up a bit. A lot of runners seem to take top routes. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, change it around a little bit. Only a few runners have not grabbed this shell, though. Um, this shell makes it very easy to get the P-speed here. Goes for bottom route and gets it. Very nice. Bottom route acquired. We're gonna have to listen for uh, marathons. But if you can see both the Hammer Brothers in World 4, the other Hammer Brother cannot marathon. Needs the help of other Hammer Brothers. Nice, Raycor also gonna grab the shell. He's gonna go for the P-Speed build, has not entered the waterfall yet to make sure he gets the point. Oh, and doesn't keep the P-Speed. That's very unfortunate, not gonna get that point. We have seen many mistakes in this level before, so we know exactly whether the, the runner should get the point there or not. And we know. We've, we've made it. Not getting a marathon, but probably pretty close. Oh, gonna take top route. Right, core also not getting marathon. Ooh, Disaster Caddy taking a damage there. Gonna lose Fire Flower. Um, which is potentially going to be pretty rough based on... Ooh, taking damage again! Oh my gosh, so close. So close. Now, Disaster Caddy didn't get the extra power-ups in the Spade Card game, so this could be a little difficult for him. Uh, he's going to have to do the Fortress as he got the Music Box. Oh, he didn't use the Music Box in World 2. Uh, no, he did. Or in World 3, he did, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Raycor did not use the Music Box in World 3, so Raycor... Uh, I don't think it's going to make a difference. It's all about that hammer, right? Nice. Going to take the safe strats. It's a great opportunity for Raycor to catch up. Doesn't know that he's got a great opportunity, but let's hope... Let's hope his little uh, SMB3 Sixth Sense helps, helps him out here. 
Acor doing nice work with all of these levels so far, not slipping up. And as soon as I say something, of course, commentator's curse. But it's a good time to lose Fire Flower. Doesn't want to lose it in World 3, so this is a great opportunity. Movement of 4 there, not a marathon. Close. Close. Raycor with the movement of four as well. Almost a marathon, but not quite. I'm sure somebody can go back and let me know, but I really don't think that, that was a marathon. That was probably a movement of four. Raycor also uh, taking the backup in the fortress, so not gonna be able to not gonna be able to gain the time there. Not gonna go for the fire flower there. Very question. Uh, that I don't know. That's that's questionable. I figure the the fire flower, even if it takes a second or two, still not too bad. Oh. Almost a marathon. These Hammer Brothers are got him in such an awkward position. Gonna go for the Mushroom House. Gets the Mushroom. That's probably not what he wanted. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and see. Regardless, gonna get screwed over. Not gonna be able to get that Inventory Star. Oh, that's a P-Wing. No, that's a P-Wing. And this is a star right here. Yep. Oh, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Not gonna get the no inventory star point. But we're coming up to duck jumps. And that hammer brother just running away. All right, duck jumps in 4-6. Here we go. Raycor having a little slip up here in the water level. He's gonna have to tighten it up just a little bit here if he wants, if he wants to take the win. Nice, disaster. Nice, it gets all the duck jumps. Get the points where they matter and keeping the lead in time. Getting the points where they matter, keeping the lead in time. Gonna have to use that music box, looking good. Gonna use Fire Flower. He does save the extra P-Wing with the music box. and He should have P-Winged here to secure that point, so I hope he doesn't not get it. We've seen this before. Yep. Take it nice and slow. Nice and slow, that's right. No, oh, and there it goes. Why, why? Why is it always the last jumps, right? It's always the last jumps. Nice, and just like that, Disaster Caddy is out of world four. Right core actually catching up doesn't have to do all the extra hammer brothers here, which is a big time swing. Uh, if only right core was able to keep P speed, get the ducks, uh, he would have be very close. Disaster caddy right here. Very nice. Very nice from both our runner's side. Ugh, World 4 airship. Boo! Go ahead and take a drink, guys. Don't forget to stretch. The most boring part of all. The most boring part at all. World 4 airship. Oh, disaster. Disaster caddy with the nice coin count. Good, good, end this, end this demon scroller. Oh, the damage there, very awkward. 
It looked like it was just on, like, the pixel there. Nice, gets through. Alright, I missed when, uh... I missed when Caddy grabbed the wand, so let's see when the king grabs the wand. What's the time when the king grabs the wand here? Looks like the king's gonna grab the wand at 25... 25.02, almost exactly. A little bit... a little bit earlier, it was like a 25.01.9 or something. But 25.02, let's see when Ragcor gets it. Ragcor is about 10 seconds behind right now. And counting. Sasta Caddy is gonna go for P-Wing. Yes, gonna go for P-Wing, right on. All right, let's see if there's any little slip up. Ragcor is about 20 seconds behind so far. Whoa, very nice, look at that. That's sick. About 30 seconds behind for Ragcore here, about 30 seconds behind. That's definitely it. Well, that's almost one hand. Disaster Caddy not getting a movement of four here. Let's see if Disaster Caddy goes for the Shaft of Shame, 282 or higher. Ragcore is going to enter. Does Ragcore does not need to use a P-Wing here to get an extra music box, but is going to. Um, Could have saved a little bit of time here. By keeping Fire Flower and, and all the above. Ooh, messing up, going inside, and Disaster Caddy! Or Caddy, sorry, he's gonna mess up. Ooh, Ragcore not getting a good... Alright, so what Ragcore doesn't know is that when he fell down the little one, one tile, when he fell down, he could've just pressed Duck and flown back up. And then flown across. Having a little trouble. 5-1 Secret is not easy. And Disaster Caddy getting a movement of four here. That's exactly what you want to see, but not going to be able to secure the 282. And looks like Ragcore is not going to go for it, so it's going to be able to catch up a little bit of time here. He's just got to snap back and kind of go a little bit faster. Very nice. Not going to go for that point. That's surprising. Um, but as it stands, that's like that, that should be a solid 15 seconds that Ragcore would have been able to catch up on... Uh, on Caddy there, but but it's not going to be able to because the the slight mess ups in, in five one the little the little one tile was too difficult. Two movements of four. Look at that. Music box is a good spot here. The odds are he's going to get another movement of four. And Ragcore not getting a movement of four, unfortunately. Going to use the music box. Ooh, the little jump at the start there, warning off the enemies. Listen, I'm here. I'm jumping. Disaster Caddy with the death was I wasn't even expecting that where did that even come from just fell It must have been a missed input there. It had to have been a missed input there Had to have been a missed input just like that the points are now evened up Disaster Caddy's gonna go for the the small Mario Whoo man Oh, taking damage on Raycor's side. Could we have a double death in the Twisty Castle? Both runners in the Twisty Castle at the same time. Not going to have a double death. That would be weird if they died in the exact same spot. Oh, oh no. And just like that, Disaster Caddy has lost the lead in time and two points in the Twisty Castle. I was not expecting Twisty Castle to be the one. And, and also, Disaster Caddy not getting the movement of four as expected. Not only that, but in the way beats the Hammer Brother, now the other Hammer Brother can't get a movement of four here. Oh no. Hasn't lost Fire Flower yet though, so it's not gonna get punished for that. Ragcore is out of the twisty. He's gonna go for the big Hail Mary jump and gets it just like that. That's gonna make it even harder. Even harder for Disaster Caddy to be able to catch up there. And wow, just like that, we're gonna switch over to Ragcore's audio. Very nice. Still no movements of four. Ragcore, gonna use the star here. Nice, very nice. Gonna use Alice's strat. I don't know who came up with it or, or anything, but I first saw Alice use that strat. So to me, that is Alice's strat right there and it does pay off. He's gonna get the early P-Speed. Zaster Caddy needs to wipe off the dust here. All right, bring it home. Bring it home. I know, I know it sucks. You're gonna have to dust it off though. Getting a movement of four on Ragcore's side. That's really good. Oh, falls in the water. 
The waterfalls in the sky makes no sense. Right, Gore having a little bit of slip up for early peace speed here. Not gonna go for the fire flower. Does not want to get punished here. I get that. You don't get a point with the fire flower at all. You just don't lose a point. Disaster Caddy needs that one movement. Oh, and gets early P speed as well and keeps it. Very nice. Rancor with another movement of four. Unfortunately, not going to be able to secure both movements of four. Not going to be able to get that point. And Disaster Caddy making sure Rancor doesn't get another point by getting early P speed in 5-5. Five, five. That is really nice. Nope, cannot, does not get that movement of four. Damn, those deaths in the pyramid took probably three points total, I bet. I bet Caddy was gonna get that third movement of four had not the death happened. Damn, man, what a, this has been a wild world five, a really good world five. Raycourt does not need this music box. He has way, way too many. Got the one in World 2, didn't use the one in World 3, used one in World 4, got one in World 5, and then got one in this one. So he does still have two music boxes. <clears throat> I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Disaster Caddy is going to get the Fire Flower, though, from 5-7, so it's going to be a little bit of a risk factor here. Especially with uh, some of the... It's gotta have little mini jitters after those couple deaths. Definitely feels like he's probably behind by a little bit. No lifeline used yet either. Yes, I was right. Two music box. I told you guys. Has the extra music box. Definitely didn't need that music box. Maybe he wants to use the music box to put the Hammer Brothers to sleep so he doesn't get the star inventory. This is going to be a big point world. World 6 for Raikor has the leaf in the inventory and has not got any inventory stars yet. Where Disaster, Disaster Caddy does not have a, a, a leaf in the inventory and has gotten a star inventory. So not going to be able to get those two points. Raikor can still lose Fire Flower here though, right? Can still lose Fire Flower here. Alright, on to another auto scroller. Here we go. <laughs> Takes damage. Gonna lose that point. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? World 5. He's still in World 5. Just like that. Oh, man. The swings in this race are insane. Gonna go for some kind of manipulation here. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Very tough, man. It's very tough. Doesn't lose Fire Flower, though. Not going to get punished for it. Good use of Hammer. Alright, what are we starting with? Top Pattern. High Pattern. Let's go. Raycore getting high early in World 6. No Coin Ships. No Fanfares yet. This is good. Looking good. No Marathon. That's good. No Lost of Time. Gonna enter this world with the mushroom. Is he gonna go for the leaf or take the elevator of shame? Hey man, I don't blame you. I probably wouldn't damage boost here though. It's very risky. Yeah, get some jumps in, let it out. Oh, that was definitely not worth it. But hey, you know, it is what it is. All right, Zasser Caddy is going to get low pattern. So we got high and low already between the runners. Now if they just, now they have to get the swip swap. Now they have to, now if they swip back. Ooh, Disaster Caddy getting the bad RNG. A little extra movement here. 
But if Disaster Caddy is able to do the full damage use, that's big time save. Disaster Caddy is catching up, guys. It's gonna go for a much faster time here. Raycor getting movements of one, though. Is it all gonna be a waste of time, Disaster Caddy? Is it all gonna be a waste of time? If you get less... If you get worse RNG in the overworld, how are you gonna save time in the levels, right? Oh! Standing too close! Under the block! Dang, you gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out for that. Too close under the block. Damn. Not gonna be able to bring it back. That's a little too close. Gotta watch out for those. Wow, still movements of one. Gonna be using a P-Wing here. The last P-Wing. Right, Core, running out of P-Wings here. All right, Zaster Caddy is never gonna make that mistake again. Now he sees exactly where. Right, Core, not getting despawned. This is fine, though. This is fine. Very nice. Movement of one for Disaster Caddy, it seemed. All right, here we go. Raycor gonna get the hammer suit, but wants to fight the bottom bro. Looks like Raycor is gonna get lucky with the Hammer Brothers here. Not gonna have to fight that extra star, bro. Has the extra music box, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wants to fight the bottom bro, and he gets high pattern. Very unfortunate for Raycor. He needed low pattern. Disaster Caddy gets high pattern. Gonna bring home a point here. Sorry about that, guys. Gonna clear the throat here. Gonna use the music box for funsies. Um, and it's not gonna get an extra star. At least I don't think so. At least I don't think so. Disaster Caddy now in the, what is this, 6-6? Six, six? I never remember what it's called. Actually, I think this is 6-5. And this is 6-5. I forgot he had a P-Wing. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Rancor going for the, what appears to be intentional damage, I think. Going to be intentional damage. Does he remember to use the Leaf, though? Yes, he does remember to use the Leaf. Very nice. Uh, where are we at? Right here. There we go. Nice, and using the leaf allows you to take the double damage. Disaster Caddy also getting the hammer suit for the Mushroom House. He's gonna get the damage abuse to go for the wall jump. Disaster Caddy avoids the extra hammer, brother, uses the hammer, and he's on his way as well. Both done. Unfortunately, Disaster Caddy did get the World 4 Star Bro, so he's not gonna be able to get the uh, the reward here. Rancor needs to get first try wall jump here. Oh, and does not get it. That opens the window for Disaster Caddy. <clears throat> also not getting the jumps after. Third try here. Just bleeding time. Just bleeding time. There you go. Very nice. Does get it. Disaster Caddy does not have the leaf. Not going to be able to get that point there. But can catch up a lot, guys. Can definitely catch up a lot. Ooh. Can't be making those mistakes if you want to catch up, though. Very nice, right? Corey equips the Fire Flower, takes damage. I don't know if he cares about taking damage here or not. Probably not that much as long as he gets to the end. Does he go for the clip? Goes for the clip? Does not get it, unfortunately. Nice, Zach Cat. He's going to use the P Wing. Dang, there was an opportunity there for a point, but. Wall jump is very intimidating. It's it's scary. It's not easy to do. It's not easy. Also, I like uh, I like the our opponent's scores right now. Very nice scores from our runners here. Very nice scores. Just like that, they're both at the same level. Not anymore, but they were. It's not too bad. That's pretty good. Disaster Caddy gets the clip here. This will be huge, huge. Not quite, not quite. All right, no leaf, no wall jump, no floor clip. Can't get the star, but he does get the RNG point, which is very nice. Gets up the RNG point. Uh, let's see here on Rancor's side. Gets no inventory, doesn't get floor. Gets wall jump, but not first try. Doesn't get high and low. He, gets, he got high and high, and he got the leaf. Off to world seven, very nice.
Very nice from both of our runners here. Very nice. <laughs> Doing the little screechies. Very nice. Raycor keeping the lead here. Not a whole lot going on in the airship, guys. This is a great opportunity for me to rest, rest my voice, which is uh, where I always try and take the rest. Take the rest where I can get them. see much of a sub pixel manipulation there but you know I don't know I don't know everything that these runners plan on doing so and something as small as like moving a pixel is not something I'm gonna be able to determine whether you know <clears throat> the opponents are specifically trying to go for but let's watch disaster caddy and see see what he does it's one stomp they are very close what are we what are we uh, entering world 7 41 4108 that's okay. He's trying for some kind of sub-pixel manipulation, it looked like. Not gonna get it quite. And done. All right, and here we go. Oh, third try. That's exactly what Disaster Caddy didn't want and exactly what Raycor wanted. Damn, third try is gonna be hard to uh, top if you have a slip up in 7 1. So hopefully, some first try, second try, third try stuff going on here. We're gonna have to listen for no bumps in the overworld map, though. No bumps. We can use a star here, very nice. I'm hearing some very weird splashing noise when Rykor jumps. You guys hear it? Listen. Turn it up a little bit. Disaster Cutting having a little trouble with the 7-1. This is what I was talking about, man. So this, this is what I was talking about. He's getting good jumps, but bad sub-pixels. That jump wasn't good. That one wasn't good. Uh, resorting to the duck jumps. You know you've lost it when that happens. You lost your mind. Am I crazy or do you guys hear like a swooshing sound? When Rancor jumps, do you guys hear it? Come on, Caddy! Listen, listen, listen to Rancor jumping. Yeah, I can hear it. It's a little choppy, but whatever. Come on, Caddy, go in, just go in the level. Just go inside the level. Well, maybe Caddy doesn't have practice on the level. So this is the first time in the tournament this season where 7-1 has single-handedly completely lost it for a runner, right? It's gonna be very hard for, for Caddy to catch back up, right? Oh, unless Rykor has trouble with this one. Let's find out. This is it, Caddy. Time for you to catch up. It's not over. I don't think Raycor got punished in 7-3, guys. I don't think so. We can have somebody go back and double look, but I don't think so. No, disaster caddy. No, and he didn't he didn't hit the music notes. No. Gonna have to get this mushroom here. There we go. Rancor does get the 7 6. Was gated a little bit there. World 7 is a big frig. And you know, it's unfortunate because Disaster Caddy had P speed there. Had the P speed. Very, very unfortunate. 
Nice, Raycor is gonna go for the 7-7, seven, seven, which is a very safe, easy, comfortable level. Um, if you don't wanna have stress too much. I don't think Raycor has taken a death here, so it's gonna make it very hard for Disaster Caddy to catch up. But the points themselves are not too crazy. Alright, here we go. Um, I don't think, I don't think Raycor got 183 in the Fortress. If we can have somebody take a look. Uh, 293 is good in 7-3. You don't lose a point, uh, Yadokami. Uh, but thank you for double checking. Very much appreciate that. Alright, so apparently, Raycor did get four movements of four. No bonks yet. And no bonks for Disaster Caddy just yet. Wow, that's a, that's a much, much different swing in points there. Disaster Caddy really needs to secure some of these points. Yeah, I know it's three movements of four. Why, did I say four movements of four? That was just an accident. Nice, no bonks for Raycor, very nice. Okay, I can't, I can't read chat anymore. I, I can't, I can't. I, I, I can't pay attention when it's going on. The disaster, I don't think Disaster Caddy got that first try. I don't think so. Yes, yes, I know, I know he got 183. Yes, I know. Nice, Zaster Caddy also going for 7-7. Seven, seven. What is that swooshing sound? Oh no, not 7-9, please. Anything but 7-9. Please, no, stop. Oh, nice. Yes, listen to me. Yes. <laughs> no. Haven't you learned your lesson? The clips are not are not your friend. Yeah, get it. Yeah. If 7-1 didn't work, 7-9 will definitely not work. 7-9 is evil. Oh, Raikor almost getting stunned there. Very close. So Disaster Caddy's about two minutes behind. Two or so minutes behind, which means... Oof. It's got like nine minutes for World 8 or so. Did he accidentally just use a mushroom there? I think he accidentally just used a mushroom there. We got no bots from Disaster Caddy. Very nice.
Oh, all right. We are in auto scroller land. Oh, all the auto scrollers. Not much you can do about that when it comes to SMB3. Auto scroller land. You better get out of there. Rancord needs to get, well, I mean, just needs to get no hands for the sake of getting no hands, but in terms of cutting it close to the sub hour. And that's what, that that's what Caddy needs to do is just get points. Just at least get the conveyor. That's, that should be the goal, get the conveyor. No, don't take the low ground. Jumping too early. Oh my goodness, very close. Oh, Rancor trying to go for the hardest power up in the game. Doesn't quite get it. Takes damage though. Very unfortunate. But I don't think I don't think something like that like is a huge thing. That's like world record attempts. You know, for any percent no wrong work. Disaster Caddy playing basketball with the bomb here. This is risky now. Oh no. I can safely say I don't think we've seen a death on Tank 1 Brigade in any season of the tournament yet. I can safely say that. Alright, coming up to the hands now for Raghor. And one, not surprised. Gets the mushroom on Katie's side. That's good. That's good. That's good. Needs the mushroom. Caddy definitely needs to get some power ups here, not have to worry too much. Gets pulled in by a second hand. Oh, man. No death here, no death. There you go. Okay, only two hands here. Not bad. Not bad. Only two hands. Nice making way to the Navy, right? We're on the Air Force. What is that swooshing? I still hear it. I still hear it, man. like a crinkled bag or something like in the wind or something i don't know what it is disaster katie or caddy sorry getting the fire flower on the navy it's 
disaster, Catherine. I don't know why I always want to say Katie. It, like, it looks... And I have to look at the name the whole time, and I just, I just want to say Katie every time. I should just call him Disaster Katie. Nice using the star. Gonna get the peace beats. Gotta keep it here. He does keep it. I was very generous with the 289 here. Disaster Caddy taking damage right before entering the pipe. Very unfortunate. But it'll be fine. The Fire Flower is not like a huge deal, right? Nice. Getting the 289. Now he needs the 291. Oh! Not gonna go for the combo points. Okay. Hand number two. Hand number two. Brrrring. This is a great opportunity for uh, Disaster to get some points here. Right? Especially if Rancor does not get Conveyor P-Speed. Gonna use the Leaf, not get pulled in by hand three. There you go, hand one. One hand. Does Rancor get Conveyor? Does get Conveyor P-Speed! Amazing! Uh-oh. Yeah, it's gotta run back. Uh-oh. Oh, no! That's fine. That's a little bit of a time loss. I don't think that's a huge deal. Alright, it's not gonna be able to make the first cycle, right? Almost. Just made it! Literal frames, man, holy. Zasta Caddy having a little bit of trouble here. I think Raycor should be fine. And this is looking like a disaster for game one for Disaster Caddy. Uh, because they're both marked down for first and second. And, you know, I don't want to, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to, oh, the damage there. Nice, Disaster Caddy's going to have to go for the combo points here. Gets the P-Speed's going to have to keep it. Oh, no, does keep it, though. Mm. Not looking like it. Yeah, Raycord and Disaster Caddy have both uh, Hammer Super Inventory. That's right. They both got the inventory hammies. The inventory hammies. Okay. All right. Come on, Caddy. You need conveyor P-Speed. You got this. You, you that, That's the last point you can get here. I hope you've been practicing the conveyor P-Speed. Come on. You got this. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. This looking good. Yes. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Anything helps. Anything helps. But there's gonna be a big point swing here, unfortunately, uh, for disaster. Nice, and Rancor finishes in first place. Oof. Oof. We're gonna get a dot done here. GG to Rancor in game one. The punishment for getting over an hour is gonna be too hard for Disaster Caddy. Unfortunately taking damage there as well, and the run is gonna end in 30 seconds. Better not die. Technically, Disaster Caddy could have sat there on the overworld. Um, but that, I don't know, I, I feel like that, what do you guys think? Would that constitute as a forfeit? 
one minute before the hour mark and you just sit in the overworld for the minute is it that's that feels like a forfeit doesn't it we all know we all know what a forfeit would mean yeah so that is not a forfeit though and unfortunately the punishment ouch ouch <laughs> just making extra sure. And just like that, right on, Rykor and Zaskati have finished game one. Very, very tough game two here. We got Zasakati with five. Rycor with 13. That is gonna be very, very hard to catch up. That's gonna be very hard to catch up for game two. Let's give the runners a five minute break, guys. Yeah, we gotta we got we're going to get our vaccine today. This is the only race today. It's the only race today. Did that say game two? I feel like I just... Well, I don't think I turned race two off. Yo, Yurt, welcome back for 29 months. Thank you very much, dude. 29 months. Sub love. We're just giving the runners a little bit of a break here, guys. Take a look at the brackets here. Oh, yeah, the brackets. Look at this. So where are these two runners? Uh, where are they? Where are they? They should be on the right side here. Raycord is Astacati. So whoever wins this is going to be going up against Beardy Locks. Yeah, no word from those two runners yet, no. Yo, look at this race ending right right at 12.05. Pretty close too. Very nice. Nice, this is exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah, we have races every day for the rest of the week. We have races every day for the rest of the week, which is nice. 
which is nice. Just unfortunately today, I have to go for my, my vaccine shot after this race. So I'm not gonna be able to do much after this, sadly. Nice, both runners finishing up. So I think Disaster uh, Caddy has uh, a little bit of a lead there in terms of delay, so we always start with his audio. You get your second shot tomorrow? Nice. I think a lot of people are getting their all their shots done. My 5G will be great after my appointment. <laughs> my 5G. Yeah, do I get a phone case with my vaccine? Do I get a do I get a chip case? Yeah, yeah, watch. My internet's never gonna fail, right? My internet's never gonna fail after I get my first shot. I'll suddenly have the urge to go shopping for Microsoft. Yeah, after, after I get my vaccine, I'll start walking faster. I'll start talking faster. Uh, I do mild points runs when I create the points. Uh, I don't do any routing, but I see how other points can interact with other points. You'll be fucked if you get two shots. Why is that? 100% SMB3, 47 minutes. Damn, dude. Faster than Warpless. Yeah, all right. Looks like these two runners are ready to go. All right, these runners are ready to go. Yeah. Is chat ready? Is Twitch chat ready? Is chat ready? If chat's not ready, I can't go. And guys, try, try your best. I know everyone's trying to help. All right, I know everyone's trying to help, and I don't mean to get a little frustrated. It's just... If you guys are screaming about all the points when I look over at chat, it just confuses me and then I miss other points when I should be watching the videos and focusing on the commentary. And on airships, you know, when we're on airships or near the end of the run, then you guys can kind of help me out a little bit if there's points that I missed, all right? Uh, I don't think it helps a whole lot in the middle of like the world. If I look over at chat, I don't want to see my name pop up because then I, I lose focus, all right? But I know you guys are trying to help, and I very much appreciate it. And I need your guys' help. I need your guys' help. Twitch chat has always helped me. I know you guys help, so. I know. Everyone just wants help, and I, I really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get game two on the go, guys. Let's get game two on the go. These guys are ready. You guys are ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Three. Two, one, go! All right, so both runners are gonna go. Disaster Caddy's probably gonna start first, yes. And just like that, we already know that it's gonna be very, very, very difficult. It's gonna be very difficult for Disaster Caddy to catch up here. Raycord needs to fall apart, right? Because like, if you think about it, if Raycord can get 13 points in one race, then so can Disaster Caddy, right? Why, like, I. That, that's why a lot of people think like, oh, five points to 13, impossible to bring it back. But anything's possible in Mario 3. Maybe Raycord doesn't know how to deal with Runaway Bro. Gets the point, but loses like two minutes. Then gets under the hour, then gets second place. Dies three times, all flustered, right? You never know what can happen. We have seen in previous seasons, runners getting minus points. Guys, minus points. I don't even know how to type minus points on, on season three. We, have, we didn't see minus points in season two, I don't think. But we did see it in Season 1. Ooh, both runners are equal right now. 
Um, Zaster Caddy not having the leaf like he had before. So we'll see. Gets early peace speed, avoids the waffle. Let's see. Does either runner get it? No! Only Disaster Caddy gets to see. This is what I was talking about. As long as Disaster, Cass uh, Disaster Caddy keeps the lead here. All right, tunnel jump. Disaster needs every single point. Every single one. Every point Disaster doesn't get, Raycor needs to die. Oh, it almost gets the tunnel. Raycor lines up. Oh, does uh, too big of a jump. I don't think Raycor actually goes to the tunnel. To think of it now, both jumps seem very, very similar in that, in, in that spot. Both jumps seem very similar in that spot. All right, 1-6 gave both of our runners trouble. Uh, both of them seem to run off of the platform or jump and go down to the green one. It's much better to do a full big jump to where Raycor did. Both runners having a much better 1-6. Nice. Very, very close. And I feel like both runners have the some of the nerves dusted off. So, Disaster Caddy gonna get Fire Flower here, which is very nice. Raycor is not going to. And here we go to the Mushroom House RNG. Wow, Raycor getting another leaf! Disaster needs this leaf to keep up. Needs a leaf here. Also gets a leaf! Amazing! Dude, imagine Raycor forgets to use his leaf. And Disaster doesn't. This is insane. Uh, apparently Disaster's time here is turned off. There it is. Okay. I think I actually... Okay, I know what happened there. I know what happened. All right, we got it back though. Right on. Thank God we caught that three minutes into the run and not 30 minutes into the run. All right, on the airship. Oh, and just like that, as soon as I noticed the timer, I didn't look at Throne Jump. So if you guys let me know uh, who got Throne Jump. No Throne Jumps from either side? Good, that's easy to keep track of. There's always like some little thing that catches my attention for th during the Throne Jump animation. Is either either runner didn't go for fire kill last time. Disaster Katie's gonna go for it. Nice. Boom. Disaster's keeping the lead. I, it, it seems like Disaster Caddy is naturally a slightly faster player uh, than Raycor, uh, based on last race. And Disaster Cast Cat, uh, Caddy couldn't catch up. Last race because of the deaths. The deaths in 7-1. 7-1 was the big one. 7-1 was really big. I know, I can't say Disaster Caddy. I, like, I've gotten to the point where I don't like that name now. I, I don't like saying Disaster Caddy anymore. I, I'm still, after all the times that I've said it, I'm still not 100% comfortable with saying Disaster Caddy. I have to say Disaster Caddy. My mouth just wants to say Disaster Katie. It's like, what is it? Uh, you guys remember uh, synonym and saying cinnamon. You just say, you have to say cinnamon, guys. No synonyms. But I'm good at saying synonym. I, I can I cannot say cinnamon. All right, Disaster Katie looking at the cheat sheet, gonna get the 10. Same with Raycor. A little confused on which one he should flip over. He does flip over the right one. He gets it. Very nice. Both runners get it. Hopefully Disaster Caddy gets, ooh, gets the mushroom. Maybe help later. Double bump on the overworld map. Gonna keep the lead though. Nice, get the leap. All right. It should be easy to not fall in the moat with the leap. Very nice, no moat. Mm, almost touched the water there. No punishment from Ragcor. Disaster Caddy did take damage though, so not gonna be able to get the no loss fire flower in worlds two and three. Nice moving to two there. Typical game. Gonna damage boost here probably, yep. Very nice, gonna be able to go fast. Moving to one on Ragcor's side, gonna be able to catch up a little bit with that. 
Missing the pipe, Rancor is gonna get early P-Speed here. And has Fire Flower, watch the- Oh no! If Rancor would've gotten the pipe, we would've saw a really cool difference in uh, strategies here. Uh, oh no, Rancor also taking damage! What is happening? The falling apart is starting, guys. The falling apart is starting. Rancor's getting all 2012 up in here. It's all gonna fall apart. Come on, Rancor, get it together! Disaster Caddy, don't let Rancor win! Both of you have a mission. Nice, now the movement of two for Disaster Caddy. Red Rocket didn't work last time, hopefully he can get it this time! Does get P-Speed! <gasps> Bonks, but he still has the turtle shell. No, keep going! Forward movement from Rancor. Throw it! Yes! Disaster Caddy gets it! Very nice on his side. The redemption, the box, survived. Rancor not gonna get the RNG point, gonna have to use a mushroom here. Gonna go for Red Rocket himself. He seemed to be pretty good at it last race. See how he does it this race. Oh! We had the reverse, he's rebuilds the P-Speed though. Is this gonna help? Is there enough time? Oh, and that gets the bonk. Gets the bonk. Come on, Rancor, you got this. You had it first race. Didn't secure it second race. A lot of things are already happening. No Hammer Brothers yet from Disaster. So we don't know. We don't know if Disaster's gonna benefit from the RNG points here. Nice. Big twisty jump. Big twister jump. No fanfare. That is good. Oh, the turn back with the star. Hopefully Rancor doesn't do 2-4 here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Disaster Caddy's first boomerang, bro, does move backwards. Boom, and gets Red Rocket. Oh wait, no, Disaster, no, that's Rancor, sorry. There we go. All right, on the right track. Get it, tracker track. Oh, Rancor almost got the star there. After the Fire Flower, it was star. So that, that was couple, that was frames away. Rancor's first hammer brother already moved forward, so he's not gonna be able to get that RNG point. All right, here we go. Does that kind of needs backwards movement? Does get the backwards movement! Look at that! Insane! Right, Corey, it's a very nice pyramid. We're gonna be able to get through. Stomp and get out of there. Hey, anytime somebody beats a level, I feel like they've done a good job, so. Nice, right, Corey needs to get the hammer here. Ooh, gets the one left and one right. Unfortunate. One forward, one backwards. No points at all for Raycor in World 2. No points yet at all. So this is gonna be a uh, big swings here. Uh, we're going on to World 3, gonna check for lifelines. No lifelines yet. Ooh, this is uh, pretty good. What is in those crates? We need to know! We need to know what is in those crates, guys. We have to know. We need to know. We want to know. Alright, rest, rest the voice. Nice. Both runners have lost Fire Flower. Whoa! Both runners have lost Fire Flower, so they're not going to be able to benefit. Try and go for the little Fire Kill here. All right, let's see when the wand goes in the King's hand, and we can get a good, good uh, time difference here. So about ten fifty, about ten fifty two.
10.52, so we're at 10 seconds lost. 10 seconds behind by Raikor. Raikor's behind, uh, not quite 20 seconds. Oh, and Disaster Caddy does not get the frame jump. These are the kinds of things that they need, man. Some of the points, but it's a difficult point. It can't happen all the time. There's definitely times where I go through and I, I rarely get it in a stream or something, right? During attempts. Very nice jump there. Does Raikor get it, though? Raikor does not get it. Damn. Movement of one, that's very nice. Not not quite in the runaway bro, bro range. Um, and I and I'm assuming that for the runners, the point tournament's got a different feel. It's like you want you want the hammer brother to run away more often, but he's uh, as as it goes, he's not right now. Nice, Raycor also in a good position. Look at how close. Look at how close they are. All right, let's see what the Hammer Brothers do. Ooh, he falls in the water, so he's gonna lose a little bit of time here. Hammer Brothers do move up for Caddy. Go bump on the overworld map. And like I said, both runners have taken damage, so they will not be awarded the no damage for Worlds 1 and, or Worlds 2 and 3. Couple little slip ups here. Looking good, looking good. Avoiding coin ship range. Raycor getting good Hammer Brother movements in terms of movements of 1 and 2, but very far from Runaway Bro. He's gonna have to clean up this level a little bit, make up some time for that 3-2. Oh, and look at that! Is Disaster Caddy gonna go for door four? Door four! No, he's not gonna go for it! He's gonna try and go for that time save! It's weird though, I know he needs the time save, but he needs points! He needs points more than he needs time, right? Right? I'm not looking at chat, but I feel like everyone's writing with me. Raycord needs to get points to, to push him down even further. He does get Runaway! And Raycord gets Door 4! See? See? Holy jumping! Oh my goodness. Raycord is also gonna get a Music Boxless World 4 or World 3 again, I think. I think he got it last run as well. Hammer Bro does move back. That is great. You're gonna have to use that music box and get the heck out of there. Very nice. Wow, what a crazy World 3 for both of our runners. Uh, the, the points remain the same. They both got one point. Oh god, watch out. It's a good thing he killed the boss. Nice, no fanfare. And remember, other runners can get fanfares and coin ships. One level left in this world. Oh, got the down up syndrome. Oh, he didn't get the clip, so was wasn't gonna be able to get the wall jump. If if Rancor can get H jump, it's gonna be a big time save here. All right, both runners really messed up this pipe last time. Looks like they didn't. Raikor gets the H jump. And just like that, look at how much time he caught up. Let's, ooh, almost takes damage there. Does not want to do that for Wendy. Let's see the time difference now. A press on the castle for disaster is a 15.05. And if to, if it, a high 15.04. High 15.04, but let's chalk it up to 15.05. So it looks like Five seconds, six, seven, eight, nine, close to 10 seconds. Wow, brought it back, brought it back a good chunk of time. All right, World 3 airship, moving on to World 4. Points have pretty much remained the same, they each got one extra point. Let's go, baby. All right, auto scrollers. Wee! Whole lot of nothing going on. Oh yeah, some shots, some jumps, some ducks. Wee! Oh, no! 
no, watch out. Okay, okay. That is not time loss that Rancor needed. 1632 wand grab. Oh, Rank. What, what, what's going on with these Wendy's? <laughs> wow, what a crazy fight. Wendy, Wendy, always coming in clutch. Freaking Wendy. Raycor asking, where is that World 3 RNG and runs, right? Always. All right. The runners know their points for World 4. Gonna grab the shell. Oh, a disaster caddy has got it down. Easy point right there. Raycor did not get bought at P-Speed last time. So let's see what happens here. Had a little flubbing. Oh. No, had lost it. Nope, definitely lost P-Speed there. Nice. Try. Unfortunate. That's two points right there for Raycor. Dang, man. Dang. No marathon for Raycor yet. No marathon for disaster. Katie. That's right. I'm saying it now. I'm changed. I've changed my ways. I'm now going with disaster Katie. That's just how it is. I got my arms crossed. Oh, Rancor falling in the drink. Zasla Caddy going to be able to get the uh, um, the cloud early, which is a really good, a, a way less stressful World 4. Uh, one runner had a music box in World 3. The other runner didn't. Look at these runners go. So it looks like that Rancor is is catching up by a lot here, but uh, Disaster Caddy has already done one of the Hammer Brothers to get the cloud, where Rancor has not. Rancor does go for a little slowdown, which is much better than a death. Much better than a death. That was the movement of four right there. Very close, though. Raycor gonna use a star here. Holy crap! Watch this! Watch this! The catch up! No! Damn! The catch up is real. It was right there. It was right there. We could have saw Raycor get past disaster in this level. Oh, it takes the damage anyways. It's gonna go for the leaf back up for safety. Box the head takes damage again. That's okay. That's what the leaf was for. Moving on, sir. Move along. No top P speed, but hey, he's up there. He's got the fire flower. Looking good. Oh, Rycor really needs this hammer brother to stop being a butt. Very nice, that's the caddy getting in there. 278, not bad, not bad. Now it's a great time for Music Box. I love the nine inputs to the right versus the one input to the left. I love it. I, I am guilty of that mistake too. Zaster Caddy really needs to not mess up these duck jumps here. Looks like he's got a very particular strat here that he does very nice and he nails it. Duck jumps, unfortunately no marathon from the Hammer Brothers. Right Court does get the cloud though. Finally, the stupid, stupid Hammer Brother was running away way too much. Hammer Brothers are getting in his way. He's going to have to use the music box. And it is time. going to use a leaf. I'm sorry, a fire flower. And now it is Rancor's turn. Rancor messed up the last jump for the ducking. I feel like this is his strat. Now, why does he duck jump here instead of just duck jumping on top of the... I mean, whatever. It's okay. What do people choose? He hasn't... Every jump has been a duck so far. Duck, duck, goose. Now don't mess up the last one. Yes, okay, he got it, very nice. You could tell he was like, I'm getting this and no one is stopping me. 
D disaster's down by five points here. Only five, that's really not that many. Nice, gets the fire kill on right core side. Right core is behind by by a little bit. We'll be able to see what kind of what kind of time differences. Screw finish at 2154. Oh, there's a screen scroll! Screen No! Right core is not familiar with the screen scroll. That is unfortunate. He's gonna he does not have well, Raycore had the extra music box, actually. So that's actually not too bad. He had the extra music box, could have done the screen scroll, missed the screen scroll there. I was curious what was going on there for a second, but that was definitely a uh, case of the screen scrolls. All right. Come on, World 4, go faster. Move it, World 4, move it. Alright, Disaster Caddy's in the pipe first. Nice with the stomp kills. Don't go through the boss. What what is that, Disaster Caddy? What are you doing there? You did the same thing last time. We're at 23-27. 23-27. Yeah, Disaster Caddy was too close to that boss last time. And he got he got swung out there. I don't know. I don't know what is what's going on there. I don't know if he wants the high ground. I don't know if he's trolling, if he wants to get a spin. Right? Anyway, if he maybe he wants to get launched, maybe it's fun. Okay, so what was it? 23, 20, 25 wand grab? 23, 25 wand grab? I think. All right, we're going into world five. Oh, he used the leap! Oh no! No! That was the worst thing that could happen. Did you guys see that? Disaster Caddy used the leap he was supposed to use in 6-8, so he does not have that point anymore. The free point gone. Oh my glorb. Alright. 282 for the fall. We know Rancor doesn't go over this point, so that's an extra point for Disaster. It's an extra point for disaster here. Two eighty four in the pipe. Let's go. Oh, too big jump. Two eighty. No, two eighty one. He jumped too big out of the pipe. Wow. Just getting robbed, man. Jumped too high out of the pipe. He, he, he had to build his P-Speed earlier. It was right at the end there. The exit pipe, so remember. That definitely hurts. Oh no. Disaster Caddy should be at 11 right now. No lifeline used yet. No movement support for disaster yet. Raycar also no movement support, but even if he does have one movement of four, we're gonna see him use his music box here. So we'll be able to find out when he goes up. Disaster Caddy, revenge of the Caddy in the Twisty Castle. I wonder if he's a little nervous just because of what happened last time. I swear, if he goes again, that would... Okay, there we go, very nice. Yes. 
Nice, Raycor making great work of World 5 coming in hot here. Neither runner's got their Fire Flower back yet, so they haven't lost it. No movements of four, and then we got Big Koopa Jump and Early Peace Speed coming right up. Ooh, almost takes damage there. Oh, there's one movement of four! That's amazing! Whoops, sorry about that. Nice, gets the early P-Speed! Gets the early P-Speed. Yes, Caddy got the big jump. All the points don't die! Woo! All right, Raycor. Here we go. Raycor needs to go for the big jump, too, to get the points. He's not gonna make it! Oh, he made it! How? That was crazy! He was like in the middle of the turtle. That had to have been pixel perfect. I don't know how he made it. Disaster Katie getting another movement of four. Needs one more movement of four. He's gonna go for the turtle shell. He's gonna use the star. He's gotta get the early P-Speed here. He does get the early P-Speed. Nice. Nice. Keeps it too. Damn. Oh no, Rancor slipping up a bit. He's gonna get the mushroom. Save. Save. Oh, and he doesn't get the movements of four. So close. Is that Sakati? Did not go for the fire flower. Ooh, Rancor with the movement of four here. There we go. That's the caddy. Oh no. The small Mario strats are always so scary. Ooh, a movement of two for Rancor. Not getting that movement of four. He does need the music box though. Oh no, Disaster Cat, he needs that movement of four. He's already gotten two. Nice, Rycord, right not biting the dust there from the Potaboos. Rycord has one movement of four. Disaster Cat, has two. Not gonna get it, damn, Raycor. Not, ooh, movement of one. That is definitely not movement of four. No slip ups in this level. Very nice. I will make sure I go back and double check, guys. I will go back to Raycor, who does, who didn't have audio. Uh, for the races, and I, I will just do a quick double check for the movements of four. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, throne jumps don't matter because they both they both already missed throne jump. Ship. So they're still in World 5. Uh, which means that they lose their Fire Flower on this boss. That'll be bad, bad news. Don't go for the Fire Kill. Why? You're crazy. Oh my gosh, I was so scared there. That was way too scary. Any lifelines yet? No lifelines, guys. No lifelines. Alright, moving on to World 6. No inventory stars from either runner either. 
Rancor is on PB pace for the points. Look at that. I'm gonna go for the stomps. Oh, he did lose Fire Flower though. That is bad. That is a point loss right there. Sad to see it. Come on now. No more point loss. No more point loss. All right, Disaster Caddy is going to get High Pattern first. No Marathon. Nice, not gonna mess around, not gonna play around with these strategies here. So Disaster Caddy got High Pattern first, Raycor is going to get High Pattern as well. Okay, easy to remember. Not so bad, not so bad. Disaster Caddy's gonna get the star kill here. Boom, baby. Bada boom. Very nice, Hammer Brothers move. Raycor, they get a little switchy reuse. All right, the dreaded 6-4. Rancor, don't go for it like you did last time. Just stay on the elevator. No. Oh. He made it though, he knows what- I should just shut up, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right, also gonna go for the star kill for Rancor. Oh, and Disaster Caddy gets unlucky there, but that is fine. That is okay. Just gonna have to do an extra level. He has time to do the extra level. Raycor also only has one music box here. Very nice. Raycor gonna get 6 4 underway. And Raycor is just not slipping up at all for Disaster. Just not slipping up at all. No deaths. Still hasn't died ever yet in the in the two races, which is really good. All right. Both runners got high pattern. Going to go for the hammer suit. And it looks like no star inventory right there. Does he get low pattern? He does not get low pattern. Damn. That's unfortunate. Needs some of those RNG points. Rancor gets the despawn strat. Not an easy strategy. Not an easy strategy. Zaster Caddy's looking, uh. Looking like. Wall jump? That's all that's left. Wall jump and clip. Rancor gonna go ahead and hopefully fight. Oh, gets low pattern! Gets a high and low! Wow, there we go. Just like that, making it even harder. Even harder, high and low. Doesn't have to use the music box. Gets the time save. Wow! Big difference right there. Big difference. Rancor also has the inventory leaf. Disaster, not want to take damage. Rancor taking the death! Oh, snap! Rancor taking the death right there. Right after we talked about it. Taking the death. Gonna get, gonna get hit with the time here, though. Disaster. Gonna go for the wall jump! Oh. Nice try. Doesn't quite get it. Suffering from the wall jump here. This is no good. Got the pixel there. Nice, and he gets... Oh! He wasn't confident! No! The faith! The faith! Was not confident. I've made that mistake before. Oh no. He was ahead by so much. 
He was ahead by so much. No star inventory. Use the leap. And look at that, man. Look at that. He makes it. He's up there, though. Yes. Yes. Rancor going for it if he gets a first try. Oh, no way! No way! Dude, is this a full clear world six? Making it very difficult, man. Very difficult. After that slip up, that he needed that. Can he get this clip though? Can he get this clip? Even after that death, man, holy jumping. These ra these races are always insane. Oh, he almost got that. I swear he almost got that. What a crazy world six. What a crazy world six. Disaster gets a high high. Accidentally used his leaf in world six. No wall jump or floor clip, but he does get no inventory stars. Just like that, moving on to World 7. Moving on to World 7. No lifelines yet. Yeah, Rag Rancor is definitely pulling it back, but he lost so much time in World 6. That was a great opportunity for Disaster. So let's see what happens here. I know it's very, very difficult for the point swing here, because uh, what, what is it? Disaster has, what, 17? And Rancor has 23. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Imagine the Hammer Brother was in his way and he got the star. Right? That, I was not expecting that. What is, what does this mean now? What does this mean? All right, disaster. No bumps on the overworld. Oh, come on. Two wasted attempts, hasn't got one yet. Yeah, go for the duck jumps. Clips, man, the clips, wall jumps and stuff are just not Caddy's friends. Gets it! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I would say World 7, just 7 1 has definitely been a disaster. All right, no boxer bumps. Uh, we got some judges and we got some uh, we got some mods and viewers. You gotta get the fire flower. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rancor, get it fast! And just like that, Rancor's almost catching up. This is insane. 
There we go. Nice. Holy crap. Oh no, not again. Oh no. What to do? Okay, that should be fine. Rancor is going to catch up here. Oh no, Rancor also making the same mistake. Oh, it went the turtles in his way. What? Why was the turtle there? And now they are neck and neck. Holy crap. This is very scary for disaster though. They're both probably gonna take it slow. Whoop! You can make it! Oh my goodness. Oh, Rancor and Disaster getting piped the pipe! Oh yeah. All right, no punishments here. No punishment for me, the runner, that's good. Oh, was that a bonk from Rancor? Was that a bonk? That was a bonk from Rancor. Oh no, too high disaster. 283. Oh, 283, very, or 183, sorry, very nice. All right, it's all about seven to six here. Come on, guys. Not first try. Not first try for me, the runner. Here we go. Come on, disaster. Look at that! Disaster got 7-6 when he needed it most. Rancor getting gated here. I bet Disaster saying, finally! How does it feel, Rancor? How does it feel? Rancor's done very well with the clips. Right on, he gets it through though, he gets it through. Just, hard, just had to start smack talking it. I think both runners go for 7-7. Seven, seven. Not a bad choice. Raycor gets 7-7. Seven, seven. First try! Ah, He definitely would have caught up there. All right, don't go for the clips. No, you're already sad facing me. You're already making me sad. No, I'm already sad. Two tries, nice. Yeah, get out of there. Now I'm proud again. I'm no longer sad. All right, let's see what Rancor does. Does Rancor make me sad? Rancor's not even gonna go for the Fire Flower. I am confused with my emotions now. I don't know if I should be sad or not sad. Oh, disaster taking damage. Gonna go for mid clip. Oh, it's mid clip. Set five seconds. Oh, it goes for the troll clip. No lifeline from either runner yet. No bonks from disaster.
No, and he just used the cloud. No, that's it. That's it. That's a death. And that's it, there it is. The one death to rule them all. The one death to rule them all. Here comes the ghost. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, very nice fortress at least. Alright, we're still no bonks yet. We're still no bonks. Ooh, he's going here as small. Small Mario. Alright, he's in there. Alright, he's got two more map movements before a bonk. No bonk, very nice. Raycord did bonk, that's right. Disaster Caddy did not. All right, world seven is done. Going on to world eight. Scroller land for these runners. It's the auto scroller island. <laughs> I don't know how far disaster is behind, but it's over. It's over a minute and a half. I don't think it's quite two minutes, right? Let's see when the king grabs the wand. The king grabs the wand at 49... 4909, the king grabbed the wand. About 20 seconds so far. Maybe less than a minute. I don't think so, though. All right. About 30 seconds behind so far. Oh, no! No lifelines yet. So it was 4909 and we're at 5019. So 5026. So what's that? 4909 to 50 to 5026. What are we looking at? 4909 to 5026. Dude, this tank is so long. There goes world record pace. Yep. All right. Oh, he almost gets Wrangless.
Auto scrollers, auto scrollers, auto scroller, auto scrollers. So Rancor needs to go very slow and get all three hands for Disaster to kind of catch up in time. Alright, here we go. Disaster Caddy's almost done with the first tank. Come on, move faster. Isn't there someone pushing? Can they get someone pushing the tanks? Nice, he's in there. I want to see Raycor get no hands. Come on, buddy. Oh, disaster getting the Fire Flower. The very difficult Fire Flower. Very nice. That always impresses me when people get that. All right. Oh, the complete opposite. The complete opposite of what Disaster Caddy needed. Now, as long as No Hands doesn't flub Raycor up and he slips off the airship and dies, because if that happens, he's got to recross the hands again. Hopefully he knows this level well. Oh, he's in there. Who? Now it's disaster's turn to cross the hands. No lifelines yet. It. Okay, Rancor can't get the combo anyways, okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, disaster. It's not flub. No flubbing. No flubs. Alright. I don't even know, guys. Flubbed it. All right, gonna use this last star, very nice. Hey, that's a star in there, that could help. Both runners got no hands. Did Raycor? Ooh, did Raycor get a uh, conveyor? Raycor does get the conveyor. Nice. Okay, very nice. That's gonna make it even harder for disaster. I, like I don't see how this can. <laughs> yes, disaster caddy equipping a mushroom when it was already big Mario. I love it. Hey, you gotta use your. Why not? Right, use your power ups. I love the show these runners are, are throwing. I love this. These races have been awesome. All right, conveyor P-speed for disaster. Whoa, I guess doesn't want to equip the hammer suit 
It's gonna go for the mushroom. Are we gonna see some doors? Nope, okay. All right, early P speed, let's go. Not... Yeah, unfortunate, very unfortunate. Uh, disaster should be able to... Oof, I don't know. I think he can. It's always hard to tell because you don't know exactly how the players are gonna play, right? When when people time it out, are they insinuating like, oh, if you do the fastest Bowser Castle that, you know, the world record holders do, or are they gonna do their version of Bowser's can they make kind of thing, right? All right, a lot of people just assume the fastest that it can be done is applied, but that's not always the case. On average, I don't know if Raikor or Disaster beat this level in under, right? They, he's, Raikor's already done an, a couple extra turnbacks that, that uh, you know, the world record holders don't do, not do right? And the stairs are, are slower as well with the rubs, and then we don't know how the clip's gonna go. Okay, very nice. All right, Raikor doing very nice. Ah, no lifeline yet. No, no lifelines for me, the runner. Oh, Raikor slipping up in statue room. Can't make those jumps. Oof. And just like that, Rancor is gonna win game two. It's going to win game two. With a total of 11 points. Very nice. 11 points. And Disaster does have enough time to actually finish and not get punished. Has enough time to finish and not get punished. This is very exciting. Come on, Disaster, you got this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna dock. I don't wanna dock for the 60. All right, you got a minute. Nice, keeps P-Speed. Very nice stairs. Nice. Finally, one clip worked for disaster. Thank goodness. The game has not been kind at all. Nice, nice. Big jump here. Yup. Bonk your head here. Or duck. Hey, man, whatever works. Nice. Disaster did get under an hour. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Not going to get penalized for that, but unfortunately, 12 points. It's gonna be 16 to 25. 16 to 25, no lifelines. Both runners getting no hands. So 16 to 25 for Caddy versus Rancor. So Rancor is going to be advancing. And it turns out that Rancor is going to be going up against Beardy Locks. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, Rancor versus Disaster. Rancor takes the win. He's going to be Rancor versus Beardy Locks. Ooh.